there are a tremendous amount of resources available to you about autograph collecting online. You have chat groups, you have videos like this, you have Facebook groups, chat boards. There's a tremendous amount of information out there. And one of the challenges is weeding through the good and the bad, right? So there's information about how to collect, what to collect, how to store things. And a big part of the online discussions is authenticity opinions. So uh, as a professional authenticator, I was told years ago by someone who's a brand name. Now, this is someone that you would all know if you're an autograph collector, said, Steve, stay off of these Facebook groups. And it wasn't an egotistical or an arrogant thing. It was just as a professional, you kind of need to stay above the fray. You shouldn't be scrumming with people on Facebook chat groups. And for the most part, I followed that advice. But every once in a while, curiosity kind of gets the better of you. And you know what they say about curiosity, right? So um, I kind of dipped my feet into the water, you know, here and there. And, uh, you know, I, I found some pretty interesting stuff. So uh, I'm going to provide you with a report out on my findings. And it's coming up right after this. So here we are with another edition of Collectibles Chat. I'm Steve Zarelli. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you don't know, I am a professional autograph authenticator who specializes in astronauts, cosmonauts, and aviation autographs. I've been professionally authenticating since 2011. I authenticate for a number of very high-profile auction houses. Uh, I also uh, consult with uh, the big TPAs, most if not all of them at one point or another. And I work with dealers and collectors worldwide to help them authenticate their space and aviation related material. Uh, so that's who I am. And, uh, but I've been an autograph collector for a long time and my, my interest extends beyond space and aviation autographs. So, um, you know, at the risk of sounding immodest, there's a lot of autographs, especially things that I'm personally interested in, that I've studied and I know very, very well. And I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit of breaking news right here in that uh, while my, my professional business is space and aviation, uh, I do professionally authenticate uh, some other autographs outside of those fields as well. Uh, some of the companies come to me for my opinion on uh, other autographs that they know that I know very, very well. Um, my name never shows up on these, but behind the scenes, I am providing opinions to some other companies on uh, stuff that's outside of space and aviation. aviation. So uh, the takeaway is, is that, you know, when I talk about autographs, especially when I'm on a chat board, I'm not going to say something unless I'm really, really confident that I'm right. Uh, I don't, you know, guess. I don't take shots in the dark. So, you know, when I speak to these things, I try to do it from a, a foundation of data and knowledge and experience. The first thing you're going to notice on a lot of these groups is that there's a lot of people providing information and um, some of it's good and quite honestly, some of it's not. And this is this is really dangerous, especially for newbie collectors who come to a group. And, you know, they very often the people who are wrong are the loudest voices. So that's something that you always have to keep in mind. Um, quite honestly, some of these groups are really they're, they're a train wreck. Somebody will, will put something out there for opinions and, you know, there'll be 50 responses. Half of them say good, half of them say bad. And probably 90% of the people don't even know what they're talking about. And, you know, it, it, that's, you know, I'm not trying to be overly critical, but you're talking about something that somebody paid money for. And they're going to either try to return that or keep it. Based upon these opinions that they're hearing online, uh, you know, there, there's, there's a responsibility there. You know, as a professional authenticator, my name goes on everything. Every letter I send out has my name on it. And, you know, that's that's a great deal of responsibility, and I take it seriously. Yet, when you're, you know, Johnny Anonymous on some chat group or chat board somewhere, not even using your real name in a lot of cases, eh, you know, what do you put one second thought into something and you fire off an opinion? So, you know, that's that's the kind of information you might be getting. So you really need to keep that in mind. I've been collecting New York Yankees autographs for a long time. 
Uh, I have a lot of Yankees in my collection, and Mickey Mantle has one, one of the focuses of my collection. I have dozens of authentic mantles in my collection uh, that I've bought over the years. I, I bought them all probably really low price on eBay because they weren't authenticated, and since had them authenticated. So uh, I, I'm really good with mantle signatures. And uh, you know, w one recent example is this. There was a group where somebody came on, uh, Facebook group, somebody came on and said, oh, you know, I think it was like, I'm, my father recently passed away or something. This was in his collection. Is it any good? Now, it was a Mickey Mantle that was a little sloppy, a little rushed, a little atypical looking, yet it was undoubtedly good. Undoubtedly good. And uh, as a sanity check, I sent a, a picture of this to uh, somebody, again, who you would probably all know, that is a, a big name at one of the, the uh, authentication companies. And he said, absolutely good. I mean, this would pass authentication, no worries at all. So, um, but you go to the Facebook group and there's dozens of people telling this guy to shred this thing. Now, anybody can authenticate a textbook perfect sit down signature, whether you know, it looks like normal or not. Yet where you separate the wheat from the chaff is, is where you have atypical examples or rushed examples. Uh, that's where your armchair amateur authenticator is going to say on Facebook, oh, no, that's a piece of junk, shred it. Whereas somebody who really knows what they're doing is saying, no, 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 no that's good. You know, don't, don't go shredding that. Yet you had people lined up telling this guy to shred a perfectly good Mickey Mantle. And this kind of thing happens all day long, all day long. Another quick story is that there was one group that I joined because everyone said, oh, this, you got to join this group. It's, 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 oh, it's so good. And um, I lasted a day. As a professional authenticator, I lasted one day in this group. I just wanted to sit back and be a fly in the wall. But, you know, I, I kind of like jumped in at one point and said something that got me um, disinvited from the group. And the story is basically getting back to Mickey Mantle again. Um, it, it was it was a mantle that didn't it looked really something looked wrong with it. It, it kind of looked machined on. It, it, it was really stiff and, and there's no natural flow or any of these kind of things. And um, you know, one of the admins declared that this item was safe, right? And then they locked down the thread, so you can't even respond back or you know just to to, to, to disagree or take a second look. So I contacted the admin. I said, you know, you might want to take a second look at this. And um, they're like, no. So I, I, I sent an image of this, this Mickey Mantle to um, another company or another person, again, who knows Mantle well and his name appears on certificates all day long. And he, you know, he said, no, there, there's something wrong with this. It doesn't look right. It looks machined on or something. It, it's, it's not right. And I got back to that admin and I said, listen, I sent this, you know, to this person and this would not pass their authentication. You might want to take another look at that. And, you know, he's like, well, the admins have made their decision. Uh, it sounds like this group isn't a good fit for you. You know, feel free to leave. Uh, that, that's a condensed version of our discussion. But, you know, this same group that I see a lot of people touting online, uh, I, I, got a, I got a file full of images from this group. Uh, Willie Mays secretarials declared safe. Uh, common Sammy Sosa fakes declared safe. I mean, I, I could go on for five minutes and share all kinds of images from this group. Uh, and, and don't get me wrong, they're not 100% wrong. There's a lot of good opinions in that group as well. Yet the accuracy rate is nothing to write home about. And there's a lot of collectors being told that items are safe when they're not. Um, and, and, and what are you going to do? What is this collector going to do when they buy this item based upon the opinion they just provided by some you know, supposed expert in this Facebook group? And five years down the line, they go to sell it and somebody buys it and they send it to a real authenticator and it fails. Whoa, 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 you know, Joe Blow from this group said it was good five years ago. You know, you're screwed. So, uh, you know, these are the kind of things you have to keep in mind. So what's the key takeaway here? I'm not saying don't use these resources or don't go to these groups. You certainly can. But you need to be wise and astute and savvy and understand that the loudest voice is not always the correct voice. 
You need to be careful and you need to learn how to discern the wheat from the chaff. And that's really difficult to do if you're a beginning collector. Uh, in the one group that I mentioned that I was disinvited from, uh, the, the admins there do not allow any dissent. I know a, uh, a number of uh, experienced, knowledgeable collectors have since uh, contacted me about that group and said, you know, I disagreed with one of the admins and they tossed me out. Uh, so, you know, you be careful about these petty admin tyrants. If you're part of a group and they're not allowing any dissent, uh, respectful dissent, or, or asking them to take a second look, uh, these are people whose egos are out of control and, you know, they're, they're on a power trip. So be really, really careful with groups like that because, you know, uh, someone who can't take feedback should not be trusted. There is no perfect chat board or Facebook group because they're made up of humans. And by definition, humans are fallible. However, there are some that are really solid. And in my experience, the ones that are solid typically have quality, consistent moderation, who keep things on the track and who get rid of the bad actors pretty quickly. Uh, some solid uh, places that I would recommend that have a really good knowledge base would be Autograph Magazine Live, which is a website that talks about autographs and uh, they cover a wide number of genres with a lot of discussion about modern entertainment, uh, some sports and, um, and, and, and other things there as well. On Facebook groups, uh, RACC Plus is uh, very solid with a good group of collectors and dealers there. And Star Wars Autograph Universe is another solid group on Facebook, which obviously focuses on Star Wars related autographs, which is a huge subgenre within the field. And I think they also touch upon modern celebrities as well. Use the resources available to you. Join the groups. Listen to the conversations, get a lay of the land. There's a lot of good information out there and you don't want to throw out the good with the bad. All I'm saying is, is that it's probably not a great idea to crowdsource authenticity opinions from a rabble, okay? And be aware that you're dealing with groups where sometimes the admins are these wannabe experts that don't allow dissenting views. That's something to be very, very wary of. Connect with experienced, solid collectors. Use pro-authentication when it makes sense. And I'm not saying you need to send every item in for pro-authentication, but for high-priced items, it makes sense. It protects your investment. And it allows you to get a refund uh, if you make a big purchase in a timely manner. So use common sense and learn and grow and listen to the conversations. And I'll just leave you with this one lesson. When it comes to authentication, very often you get what you pay for. So that slams the lid on things for today. Until next time, happy collecting.